You know who the most mentally ill person on uh, Twitter is? Uh, fucking hell. Is it Tariq Nasheed? It's Tariq yes, Nasheed, mate. Nice. Yes, uh, good guess. Uh, yeah, absolutely mentally ill, isn't he? Um, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to qualify that, right? <laughs> like, we've talked about Tariq Nasheed uh, a fair bit on the show. But T- Tariq Nasheed believes that everyone is a white uh, supremacist. Uh, like, literally everyone is a white supremacist unless uh, you're black. Um, and if you just look at his, his Twitter feed, it's all he ever talks about. Um, let's let, I mean, at the moment, right, he is now talking about VidCon 2017, which is where all the YouTubers and video content creators are currently at. Um, and and T- Tariq Nasheed has come to the conclusion uh, that it's actually a gathering of white supremacists. Which I, I just want to say, if it was a gathering of uh, white supremacists, uh, VidCon would be a terrible name for it. Like, white supremacist con would probably be better because obviously you don't want any confusion, do you? You want to attract your key audience because if you are having a white supremacist rally and a bunch of non-white supremacists come in, they might be a little bit confused as to what's going on. Yeah. You know, why you're saying so anyway? Yeah, the white race is completely superior. Yeah, oh, but I thought we were I here thought to talk Casey about Casey Neistat was coming. <laughs> no, no, Casey's not coming. Actually, uh, a bit of a change of plan. Um, we've got Fatler. <laughs> he, he's he's a cute fat Adolf Hitler lookalike. He's here. We've got Foxler, the Foxler Nightfire, the the furry. He's here. Um, and Richard Spencer. That's about it, really. All the other white supremacists are just plebs who've never really achieved anything in life. No, not even notoriety. So, um, is what he is where he said this. This is the tweet. Now, since saying, um, I heard VidCon 2017 was nothing but a white supremacist rally with nerds. How true is this? He's uh, made a few more tweets because obviously ter- all Tariq Nasheed does is accuse everyone of being a white supremacist or everything of being racist. Um, so, I mean, he, he, this is how he makes his... I don't even know how he makes a living out of this. Um, but, you know, things like this. Like, what's What's this tweet about? I didn't know this was happening. Why didn't somebody tell me? Um, Black citizens are waiting on people in the dominant society to confess to you that blacks are under a racial cleansing regime now. Now, I didn't realize that was happening. Uh, And then he talks about white supremacy, of course, and some other stuff. So he's a bit mental. But anyway, back back to VidCon. Um, He's now saying, uh, because a a load of uh, video content creators tried to get hashtag shut up Tariq trending and it indeed it did tweet he he said here that if because people want him to shut up and stop calling people white supremacists with no evidence no foundation uh, just the voices in his head you can see here that he then tweeted out that the few named people who were tweeting about this he then called them white supremacists Saying so, these suspected white supremacists got sh- shut up to reek trending, and then he tweeted this, uh, which hang on, this is pretty mental, right? There were. There were only a handful of black people at VidCon 2017. And security there still found a black person they could choke and brutalize. And then there's a video of what appears to be Jesus. <laughs> he couldn't even keep the peace. Right. I now, when I... I mean... We have no idea what the security are doing, but you can hear everybody there, these supposed white supremacists, the, uh, are against the security. They're all saying, fuck you guys. 
So just putting that out there. Um, so I, I think Tariq Nasheed might have some problems. You know, I think he might have some health, mental health problems. Um, and I don't think they're going to go away anytime soon, Sam. I don't think so either. Because what you might not know about Tariq Nasheed is Tariq Nasheed, before he became a racism expert, uh, which is what he uh, pretends to be now on Twitter, he just desperately wanted to be famous. And he actually used to be a rapper uh, who used to call himself King Flex or K Flex. And he wrote some books, which we'll come up in a minute. But more tragically, he wrote some songs. And one of these songs was a song called Wash Yo Ass. Now, I thought, oh, it might be in a bonics way of saying watch your ass because they tend to use the softer T. Uh, but but it's it's not. It's a song about how women need to wash their ass before having sex. Which I'm not saying he's wrong. It goes both ways. You know, clean assholes make for a better sexual experience just as a rule but he wrote this song called wash your ass uh, i think it's only fair we play the first two and a half minutes of it i right, give you the link All right because that's where it peaks it's at about two minutes 40 in it's got the best line of the entire song um you'll know it when you hear it but anyway start, yeah yeah, just just play it from the start. Um, you, you, people will quickly pick up on the theme of the song uh, and about washing your ass. I mean, I love the cover, by the way. That is Tariq Nasheed. So, and per, a nice little parental advisory sticker over what I assume is a freshly washed ass. <laughs> is your ass <laughs> indeed? So, ready, ready, whenever. Three, two, mm. one, go. You got to wash your ass. You got to wash your ass. Wash, wash your ass. You got to wash your ass. You got to wash your ass. Wash, wash it. Wash, wash it. I say you wash your ass. You got to wash your ass. You got to wash your ass. Wash, wash your ass. Just grab a douche. Open up your puss. It's wash, wash it. Wash, wash it. I say now, dag, dag. Baby, did you pass gas? I think you better go get a cell by soap and wash your ass fast. Got a motherfucker thinking and wondering what's up with the junk in the trunk. It's getting funky and funky. I better watch that skull get your monkey. You raise hell and be yelling because all the fellas be bailing. But all the fellas are gonna be bailing because your big cootie gets smelling. I see you wanna get a cootie cat now, but I think I passed, nigga. Well, make it think a motherfucker wanna smell your ass, nigga. You keep telling something about that ass for real, nigga. You need to run and get some hummus, eat for some ass and gale, nigga. And watch it. Watch it, squash, I didn't see I Smells like gumbo And if you wanna give it up Wait a minute before you drop your clothes I got you send out a message to you Fucking Gucci hoes Wash your ass You got to wash your ass You got to wash your ass Wash, wash your ass I say now wash your ass You got to wash your ass Squash, wash it Squash, squash it You got to wash your ass You got to wash your ass You got to wash your ass Squash, squash your ass Just grab a douche Open up your pussy Wash your ass. Lisa and Tamika need to wash your ass. You need to wash your ass. Wash, wash your ass. I say Monica and Brandy need to wash your ass. I say Rachel and Simone need to wash your ass. I say Tina and Regina need to wash your ass. You need to wash your ass. Wash, wash your ass. Which I'm the K dash to the FL to the EX. You need to go run your bath and wash your ass before you give me sex. Cause I don't give a fuck about how sexy you look. No sour ass. Your, 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 your cootie cat really 
<laughs> That's the banger. So you, you, you can tell it, it kind of peters out after this. So, oh, but yeah, that that's where I realized that maybe Tariq Nasheed, like, it, it maybe he was a normal human being at one point, you know? I have to say, there is some merit in writing the line, you can have a figure like an hourglass, but better not got no sour ass, right? Uh, he, he, he obviously at one point could have could have contributed uh, to, to, to literature, <laughs> you know? This guy could have been somebody instead of just some insane person ranting on Twitter about white supremacists.